In previous versions of NX, we followed a policy where a given version of NX is coupled to a specific version of Angular. You'll notice for the workspace I have on screen, we're using Angular 14.0, and if we scroll down, we can see we are on NX version 14.2. Now this coupling is unfortunate because if for some reason you were forced to stay on Angular version 14, you'd find yourself having to stick with NX version 14.2 and you wouldn't be able to upgrade. Well, we're changing this starting now. In NX version 15.7, we'll support all versions of Angular greater than or equal to Angular version 14.0. And we have the intention here of supporting all long-term supported or LTS versions of Angular, starting with the release of Angular 16 and then going forward. To migrate the workspace that I have on screen now, we can open up a terminal and I'll run the command npx nx migrate latest and we'll add the dash dash interactive flag here. So we can see NX has gone out and pulled down the most recent versions of NX, but now we'll be prompted about which version of TypeScript to use and which version of Angular to use. So for this example, I'll hit no for TypeScript and no for upgrading to Angular version 14.1. But note that if we had answered yes here, we could pick how far we'd like to upgrade our Angular version, as you can see in the screenshot. With the command complete, we can check our package.json file and we can see our NX tools have upgraded to their most most recent versions, but looking at our Angular dependencies, these are still all on version 14.0. So in addition to supporting older versions of Angular with the latest and greatest version of NX, we've also reduced the amount of risk involved because now upgrading NX won't cause any changes to the Angular application code that you actually end up deploying. This should be a huge improvement for all Angular developers as you'll now have access to all of NX's most recent and optimized tools as long as you're staying inside of Angular's LTS window of the most recent two versions. For us on the NX team, it's also an exciting first step into decoupling NX from other major packages and we'll be interested to see how this turns out and if we can end up doing something similar with packages like React in the future.